Hi, I'm here to show you how to use this 4x7 organizational photo directory. This directory is designed to be printed on half legal size paper. So with that out of the way, let's get started. We'll first by, begin by entering in all of the information of your members here on this tab. All of this is just test information. It's not real. Uh, made it up with a random.com website. So test information goes in here. You can easily just highlight all of this, you can highlight everything except for the top row and then click the delete key. It will all go away. If there's something that you've done that you want to undo. All you have to do is simply hold control and press the Z key and it all comes back. Pretty cool. Once you have entered in all of the information here, you can go over to the directory designer tab. Here you can see all of these drop downs that you can change, which will change the information that will appear here on the directory. I wouldn't change where the name goes since that has special formatting, but the uh, street address, state, uh, city, state, zip, phone, email, and then member status and member since can all be customized to an extent. You'll have to play with the formatting just to see how it looks best. Once you have that formatted how you like, then you can come over here to this sort order. Currently, this is sorted by last name in a descending order. And so you'll see here, uh, last name starts with a V. We can come over here, change this to ascending. And now it starts with an A. And so that changes, it, you can you know sort by whichever item you would like. I think name makes the most sense. Last name ascending is probably typically how everyone will do it. Now this, this final tab is really just a reference tab. It's there just to make sure everything's okay and, and nothing's gone wrong. It's how the directory gets sorted. So you can leave this tab alone. Now let's go on to printing. Say you have your directory how you want it. You're ready to print. So let's control P or you can go over here to file and print, and that will bring you to the same space. Uh, what you see here is a custom size already built in, um, but I'll walk you through how to get to this point. So typically, you're gonna start with this letter size. It's not what you want, you want the half legal, and so you're gonna have to click this paper size, scroll down to custom, and then you'll have to change the height to seven and the width to be four and a half. Uh, four and a half. I may have said at the beginning that this was four by seven, wrong it's four uh, seven inches tall by four and a half inches wide now then for the margins uh so that that's the custom paper size we'll get to the margins here in a sec the scale the scale is usually going to be f set at normal to begin with but let's change that to fit to page that will make everything look nice nothing will be clipped off we're good to go there for margins we're gonna do custom numbers right here and then that will make these appear. If you do normal, then it disappears. And if you're okay with that, you can do that too. But if you would like to do a, um, you can do narrow margins, you can do wide margins. That'll kind of shrink and expand it. Let's do custom margins. And you'll see here, we'll start with normal, do custom. I believe I had this at 0.75. I had this right one at 0.5. The top one at 0.5. The bottom one, that can be 0.5 as well, or 0.25. Whatever you need it to be, you can change it. So maybe you want these to be 0.25. Good to go. Next, you will hit the next button, printer. And then this is where you're going to change your size. Um, your printer should hopefully have the half legal size, and that's ideally what you would want to print on. Um, or you can experiment around in here, figure out what uh, what is going to print best. Um, let's see. You want to deselect that headers and footers because that has that just additional information. So deselect that. Change how you want to print it if you're printing on both sides. Um, change the scale. All kinds of good stuff. If you're sending it to a professional printer, you'll just instruct them to uh, print on a half legal size sheet of paper in a portrait mode. That will get you the result that you want. Now, last thing, let's add an additional page. So I only have five here. 
um, you will right click on this last one and click duplicate. And then you'll change this to we'll delete that and do the next page, page six. And then you're going to click right here on this row A7. And you're going to change up here in this formula from page four, which is the previous two pages, over to page five, which is the exact previous page. This will all automatically update and will go right in order in alphabetical order by last name from here to here. And these are duplicate names because I have duplicate fake information in here. All right. I believe that is everything. The page number down at the bottom automatically updates. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out or reference the instructions tab. I try to make it as detailed as possible, but uh, things always seem to slip through. So just give me a shout if you have any questions. Thank you.